But we had a very funny experience. I mean, as funny as it can be meeting Senator McCarthy. Um, we were playing in Las Vegas, a club called Rancho Vegas, I think it was. Anyway, that's not important. Uh, at the end of the act, the Metro D came back and said, uh, Senator Joseph McCarthy would like to buy you a drink. And Larry and I looked at each other, and Larry said, what do you want to do? And I said, I don't want to have a drink with the old son of a bitch. <laughs> and Larry, but Larry had, had a, a, one of those inquisitive minds. He said, I want to meet this man face to face. I want to see what he's like. So we went out, and we were sitting in a big leather booth. The first thing McCarthy did was, was t lift up his, his shirt and show us his kidney scar, the operation scar. <laughs> it was like, like Lyndon Johnson doing it, you know? And uh, then he, he, they bought us, he bought us a drink, and then he said to Larry, are they giving you a hard time, kid? And Larry looked at him and said, you're asking me that? And McCarthy said, well, let me give you a little motto. Bastardi non carborundum. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Well, a little bit after that, we decided to, we got up and said thank you for the drink and left. The next morning, my mother had brought my two boys up, and they were about three and four years old. and. Uh, we went out, we had slept late, and we came out to the pool, and my mother had the boys out at the pool, and there in the pool was Senator McCarthy teaching my kids to swim. So they never understood why we got them out of the pool and made them take a bath in the middle of the day. <laughs> but, I mean, it was a bizarre experience, you know, to meet this man. My conclusion is that this man had no sense of, of morality at all. He just, he was on a bandwagon and was, you know, he had no sense of what he, the destructiveness of what he had done. And uh, he, he had just picked a, a, an attitude, I guess, or a cause that he thought would make him famous, which it did.